Okay, <clears throat> today we're going to look at combining like terms, and this time we're going to have some negatives in there. So we're going to look at this problem first in our work area. And we can see there's an x squared, so I put in an x squared, and then a 5, and then next we have an x, and then there's an x squared, and that's what I saw a lot of people do, except that term was not an x squared. After the x, it's a minus x squared, so I need to take out an x squared, then put in an x, and last put in an x squared. And you see what I'm left with, an x squared, two x's, and a 5. Let's take a look at what we draw on our paper for that. Okay, so you can see what we did in our work area. And so this is what we should look like on our paper <coughs> for our drawing. And if we're going to show work, again, we would circle and identify that we know these x squares are all like terms because they have the same variable and the same exponent. And notice I didn't draw any squares for those two because I see that they're going to cancel each other out. You put it in and then took it out. So I'm left with an x squared. Then I look for my x's. We see I have plus x and plus x. So that's plus two x's and last I have a five. Remember, this is called combining like terms. And we do that by adding our coefficients. Um, with this set of numbers or blocks, though, we're limited to a certain set of numbers. Take a look at this problem. I put in 3x squares, then I put in 4, then I want to take away 5x squares. Now, I can't take away 5x squares because there's not 5x squares in there. Okay, And this is what used to happen when you were in second and third grade. You couldn't take a bigger number from a smaller number. But let me introduce you to our new set of blocks, which include integer blocks. So now we have positives and negatives. So when we deal with this one, we're going to put in 3x squares. Then we're going to put in 4. <clears throat> then I'm going to put in 5 negative x squares. I'm not taking out 5, I'm putting in negatives. So there's my three negatives. I need two more, four, five negative x squares. Then I have a plus three. And what you're going to see is that we have a positive x squared with a negative x squared. So that cancels each other out. It's a zero pair. Another positive with another negative cancels each other out. And a third positive with a third negative cancels each other out. And then you see I'm left with two negative x squares. And I'm also left with the four tiles plus the new three, which is seven constants, or plus seven. So let's take a look at how we're going to record that work on our paper and what it'll look like. So we're limited to whole numbers. Recording it on our paper, <clears throat> we should draw three x squares. Then we would draw our four. Then we would draw five x squares, but this time we're going to make them negative. Then we're going to draw three more blocks. And then we're going to look at combining our like terms. Again, make sure you have the sign in there. You have three positives and five negatives that you're putting together. We're going to add the coefficients. That's the three and the negative five. Okay. And as we do that, we get zero pairs, which we're going to cross out. And you can see that the negative win by two. So that's minus two x squares. And then you're going to have plus seven. And that's what your note should look like on this page. <clears throat>